Okie dokie, I have now finished my round of white, so you do not need your white anymore. You can tell it's bigger than the original one, but that's okay. Bigger the better, I guess. So now we are going to do, um, to, to move on. accent color my accent color is teal you're just gonna do the same thing i'm gonna do two rounds with you now because i don't i think we only need two more two rounds and then we'll attach stuff and then we'll do the third round and that will be decreasing so on and so forth so i'll do these rounds with you because um, we had to attach things in the next round. So, um, after the next round, sorry. I might as well stay. <laughs> I feel like the light should be brighter, like my ring light. I don't know why. Now we're going to remove our C-clip and add it to our band. I'm left. Okay. So we're going to skip this one right here. Sorry, my bad. We're going to skip that stitch right there and move on to this one. Round and then we can start adding some things like the fins and the tail and stuff. I'm pretty for sure Pufferfish's bodies are bigger than the fins, if my reference is correct. Um, my little reference over there. It's almost like the same color as my narwhal, but it's not. I think I liked this one because it looked cuter with the pastel. Um, again, you could use any accent color you want. This is the accent color. I'm right now trying to figure out if I want to make a bird design. Um, I really want to. I think I already have an idea in mind. Because um, I made this ostrich um, from Legendary Looms or something like that. Inspired me to make a bird. So. Maybe I should. I don't know what inspired to make me to make this narwhal. I think I was just thinking of narwhals. And I had my bands next to me. And I was like, what should I do? Because I was thinking of narwhals. So... Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, 
17. Okay, so we could leave our C clip and stuff in just a couple minutes. Okay, so we're going to add our fin um, back here, a little tail. We're going to add another little stitch mark. Okie dokie. I'm gonna have to do attaching off camera, so if you have like different ways of attaching, try doing using that because uh, I have to go off camera to attach this. I gotta attach this really well. Ugh, okay. Goodness, why is it so hard to attach? Sorry guys if I'm taking so long to attach stuff. Like so I've now attached the Fins. Going off here. Okay. I'll fix that later. But I have now attached the fins. They're a bit high. I just realized that. Okay, that's fine, I guess. So now we're going to add another one on the other side of here. Sorry if I keep shaking the camera. Stitch mark that. Uh, this one might not be as good as the other one. It's bigger. We're gonna add the eyes after four. I'll add the eyes now. Just let me attach the nose. Because we're gonna put the eyes between where the nose is. Go through. <laughs> Sorry, this is like a really bad tutorial. I don't remember my description for my last video. I was like, "Sorry for the bad everything." So I felt really bad that I just didn't explain stuff well. I just felt bad. I was like, should I remake that? I was like trying to encourage myself to remake that, but. Okay, now we're going to add the eyes. I feel like the bigger the eyes, the cuter it is. So we're just gonna add the eyes right there. Oh, that's so cute. That's, that is so cute. 
Now we're gonna add the backs to the eyes. So let me do that off camera as well. It just doesn't fit. Okay, yeah, I know it wouldn't fit, but maybe it does. Okay, yeah, that fits. I just use clear backings. I also got my safety eyes off of Amazon. So, if anyone is wondering, I'm gonna have to fix this in. Okay. So here is the little normal face. So cute. Uh, okay, so we want the fin facing down. Probably know what I'm about to say. There's a lot of attaching for this good little guy. So. It's okay though. As long as you know how to attach things, you should be okay. Dang it. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? I did that for what? It's okay. Oh, gosh. I just hate the fact that I have to do this off camera. Because I want to show you guys, but it's so hard to attach things for me. Like, I hate attaching things. I'd rather make it than, like, stuff that can be attached. But, um, I'm afraid that I have to attach a lot of things. There's one fin. Now we gotta do the other fin on the other side. It may not be even, which is totally fine. As long as you're satisfied, it's it's fine. As long as you're satisfied. I should say as long as you're happy with it, like the the where it is and stuff. But fine with it is fine too. Oh my goodness. Okay. There. Oh my goodness. Anyways, so once you're like done attaching everything, what you can do now is grab all of the attaching loops that you have made. <laughs> At least that's how much I have made. And pull like really tight on those. Oops, I missed one. Okay, then go through a stitch. Okay, let me show you. So grab all of your loops. Please don't miss any, because it's a really important part. So grab all of your loops that have you you have attached for the things. Find a spot that has already been like crocheted and stuff, like stitched in, and pull through. I may have to use my fingers for this one. And pull through all of them. Or pull through, like, not pull. Why am I saying pull again? Push over the band and. It should work because now all of your stitches are attached there you go now we're going to start decreasing yay finally just 
kidding. Still gotta edit this and post and stuff. Okay. So we're gonna start decreasing, so we're gonna do a single crochet decrease. So um, with what this mess is going on here, there is still a stitch under that. So single crochet. Now just skip over that and decrease. So you should still have 12. Just be very careful with where you place your bands. But you should still have 12. I'm sure of it. Because I, I did this and I still ended up with that. Single crochet. Decrease. Um, where is it? Why can't I? making sure it was on camera. Single crochet. Decrease. Single crochet. Single crochet. Decrease. crochet and you should end with decrease decrease oh my goodness what in the world is going on here <laughs> go through the band <laughs> okay so, you should have 12. I already counted in my head like, as I was doing it. So, I do have 12. But now you're, you're going to lose the C-clip. You're going to start stuffing your puffer fish. So, don't overstuff it like I was about to do. Sorry if I keep shaking the camera. But stuff it. Just little clumps and stuff it. I just dropped my C-clip. I'm gonna stuff it just a tiny, tiny bit more. So I like mine a little bit stuffed. Okay. So you're gonna lose a C-clip and decrease all the way. So now you're just gonna decrease. You should have six, so. By the end, so one, two, hope you can see, three,
six. It's all right. So I have ended. So now we're gonna close up. So we're gonna grab all the bands and pull through where there's holes. Then pull through all of that. And pull. I don't know why I keep doing that. Oh, I did that off camera. Sorry. I just realized that. But I just basically closed up. Which I'm sure a lot of people know how to do, at least who's watching my videos. At least. I keep shaking the camera or hitting it, and I'm sorry, I don't mean to hit it, like, I swear. Okay, now let's go on top of the stuffing. Okay. So, this puffer fish is done. It's a bit different from my original one. This one is more at the top, but it was not supposed to be like that originally. So I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial for the puffer fish. It turned out slightly bigger. I mean, not slightly, like it turned out huge, but I'm totally fine with that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of my puffer fish design. Make sure you like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Comment down below what you did over or what you're doing over winter break. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!